Smokeless Chimney, Fusion 360, and Grave using an Avid Pro 4896. I got my model set up. This is an educational thing because some people don't know how to do this. It's a really cool tool in Fusion 360. Go to the manufacturing and then get your orientation and then select engrave. You have to go get a chamfer tool. If you got it all set up, go to the um, simulate and go over it many times with simulate. I'll slow it down here so you can see how it does it. It raises and lowers that uh, V-shaped tool to make these nice uh, font uh, engravings. This works on wood very well. I have a nice piece of hardwood. I'll show you this operation, but it's really cool to me to see these up and down Z motions. So I've got the machine set up. Notice that I have a small lift on one side of my piece of wood. You can see where this turns into a problem later. You probably should have an absolutely flat piece, but this had a little warp to it. My bit is turning at 12,000 RPM. Uh, I think it's at 1,000 millimeters per minute at, uh, cutting speed. It seems about right. It's writing out the word tool right now. That's an O. And it's moving up to um, another O. It likes to do the O's in a row. This is a C. It's working on an R now. This is a K. Now we're getting into the uh, high piece of the wood. And uh, I should have spent a little more time trying to get it flat, but that's as flat as I could get it. So it's going to dig deeper into this part. It's writing out the word uh, shed. So here's an S. Or this is an H, I think. And this is an S. And an L to finish it out. I'll reposition the camera here. This is what it looks like raw on the board. It just takes a little bit of sanding to take off some of the burrs on it, but it really looks good. I'll put a photograph at the end of what it looked like on the final piece. If you're ever doing engraving, it helps to have a few tips. Thanks for watching. Smokeless Chimney, www.smokelesschimney.com, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube.